So a few uh, congenital anomalies may come up either at the initial assessment or from the antenatal reports. A single umbilical artery, uh, it's something where if the antenatal screening reports are normal, the renal scan, everything is normal. We don't usually do anything more. Congenital cataract, if you pick up on the abnormal red reflex, you have to refer to the ophthalmologist. You may need additional tests if you consider any syndromes or uh, viral infections. The preauricular tag, again, if your antenatal scans were normal, you don't need any further assessment. Cosmetic-wise, uh, if the baby is older, they can go to a plastic surgeon. Uh, supernumerary digits, similar uh, thing, no specific test needed. Again, treatment will be cosmetic-based. Uh, dysmorphism has to be assessed by a senior before any comments can be made. You should review the uh, pregnancy uh, double marker testing or triple marker testing or nuchal cord thickening. Sometimes they may have had amniocentesis already in pregnancy. So if you review those results before you comment. Undescended testis is not uncommon, especially if the baby is preterm or borderline term. If it is unilateral and you can feel the testis in the inguinal canal, it's uh, likely to come down with time. If you can't feel the testis on both sides, it needs careful evaluation. Uh, ultrasound may be uh, indicated in some of these cases and pediatric surgery review should be considered. Cleft lip and palate, uh, they need appropriate support. Uh, cleft palate team. If there are major anomalies, the management is obviously dictated by what anomaly you find. And if there is antenatal renal pelvic dilatation, again, you have to follow the algorithm for the same according to the level of dilatation, whether it is unilateral or bilateral. So bilateral renal pelvic dilatation in the male baby, you have to watch carefully for posterior urethral valve, which in some cases may be a severe presentation. 